Hey everybody, I'm Aaron Norris with The Norris Group. It is Friday, September 8th, and we're only two weeks away from iSurvive Real Estate. But Amazon, they're about to build a new headquarters. Where should they build it? It's going to mean 50,000 new jobs. That and much more as we cover the biggest headlines in real estate. <music> Don't miss the radio show and podcast. We are continuing with our guests for I Survive Real Estate, building up to the big event. We're talking to each one of them separately, and this week is Sarah Bonnert. She replaces Nick Bailey. This is a surprise if you haven't been paying attention. Nick Bailey went on to be the new CEO of Century 21. Interesting going from something like Zillow Group to Century 21, a very old and established brand in the realtor space. But Sarah has been with Zillow since 2006, and she joins us to talk about how she got into the business back in 2006 and the journey of what uh, Zillow has been through back when real estate was hot in 2006, the following two years when it bombed, and how Zillow has changed and all the brands that they own and what they are looking to do with all those different brands, how Zillow generates all its income, and the premier agent program. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second as we talk about Facebook. Home prices increased 6.7% in July, according to the latest U.S. home price report from CoreLogic. Fannie Mae reported housing confidence increased 1.2 points to 88 in their latest home purchase sentiment index. And the Labor Department reported jobless claims increased by the most in five years in the wake of Hurricane Harvey, having increased to 250,000 from 236,000. And we're hoping that now as Irma approaches Florida, that the same doesn't happen in Florida. Let's Prayers and thoughts of you in for this weekend in Florida. Hang in there. Aston Plaza and residences in Dubai will make the first 150 studio apartments available to buyers via Bitcoin. I know what you're thinking. What the heck is Bitcoin? <laughs> well, Bitcoin is the most popular and probably the oldest cryptocurrency. Um, and it means you and I get to transact without the help of anything like a bank or an intermediary, like an escrow. I just get to send you funds from wherever in the world. I'm not going to get into it. Look it up on YouTube. It's crazy. And it's blown up in value um, since uh, it showed up many years ago. And so for the, some of the you have been hoarding your Bitcoin, this is your chance to convert cryptocurrency into brick and mortar. Touch with your hands, not in some cloud currency, but real estate. Wouldn't that be sweet? Well, now as soon as the apartments are sold, the Bitcoin will be converted into US dollars and they will use the, uh, the money, of course, to pay for the apartment. A total of uh, over 1,100 apartments are going to be made available, so maybe you don't have cryptocurrency, but you can buy it just with regular US dollars. According to a new Zillow analysis, home sellers on the West Coast saw the greatest return in 2016. Houses have soared over the past few years, ever since around 2013. We've had a really nice price bump. Low inventory and high demand due to high paying job opportunities have meant several markets along the coast have just blown up, especially Northern California. Now, nationally, sellers sold for 24% more than what they paid for when they stayed uh, at least seven and a half years. The three biggest gainers year over year were Seattle, Boston, and Sacramento, which all had double digit increases. Agents everywhere are using Facebook to advertise, but is the golden era of Facebook coming to an end? As Facebook competes with Zillow and Google for real estate marketing, the price for said advertisements are rising. Facebook price ads are more than doubled in 2014 and 2015. Even though price growth decelerated a little bit at the beginning of 2017, it rose 24% in the second quarter alone. Now, if you listen to the radio show this week about Zillow, they do have a little bit of a partnership going with Facebook and they're working with Google on different things. So. It's interesting to hear all the different things that Zillow Group is working on, um, but maybe they're going to integrate more seamlessly uh, with their platform to be able to easily advertise on Facebook because it's not always that intuitive. But competition has begun to get fierce among agents, and if you also listen to about the Premier Agents program, it's clear that Zillow Group is focused on the 10 to 15 percent of the top agents in the country that are willing to spend a lot of money. So it'll be interesting if Facebook decides to follow suit or makes it available to all. We'll have to wait and see. Could driverless cars have a serious impact on housing? Well, John Burns Real Estate Consulting tells us there will be eight changes to the housing market because of it, and it's a really great little article, and make sure you go to the blog and check it out. You can link through and read the entire thing. A couple of the changes will affect the aging population the most, and they brought up some really good points. Businesses that remodel so folks can age in place will be super in vogue. As seniors remodel, there will be fewer homes for sale because seniors are very typically um, net sellers of real estate, meaning they get rid of more real estate 
rate than they end up buying, but if they're aging in place, eh, that means assisted living demand could go down, which is very interesting. They went on to say that density will increase, construction, construction costs, costs will decline because of relying less on transportation needs, and prime real estate will be repurposed since parking lots, gas stations, and even auto dealerships will be needed far less, and urban employment will rise, and what they call drive until you qualify housing markets will likely reemerge. Well, Amazon announced this week they are looking for a second Northern American headquarters, already being called HQ2. It will take approximately 20 years to develop at a cost of a whopping $5 billion and employ somewhere around 50,000 people. So investors, real estate investors, are going to be looking to see exactly who wins this bid because it could be huge and could definitely drive housing market. Seattle, Seattle's housing market, where Facebook is now, has definitely risen. So cities will be lining up to bid. Among the short list are Memphis, Philadelphia, Hartford, Tulsa, St. Louis, and Los Angeles announcing today that it would be among the bidders, but a California headquarters is not likely for a myriad of reasons, but you never know. I'm sure you can think of some other places. I'd love to hear where you'd like to see Facebook build the next one. I think Detroit. Why not? Why not have an entire downtown and see it rebuilt? I don't know. What do you think? If you're on YouTube, please leave a comment below and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a beat. If you're on Facebook, please don't forget to not only like the Norris Group page, but don't forget to add us to your C first list and with notifications on. Leave your comments below the video. And if we miss something, share the story on our comment sections on either YouTube or Facebook and we'll make sure to include it on our blog at thenorrisgroup.com forward slash blog. Next week, we're going to be in San Jose. So if you are in Northern California, we would love to to see you. Thursday, Bruce will be talking about the 10 life-changing days of a real estate investor. It's one of the last times we're going to be in Northern California. So head on over to San Jose at SGRI on Thursday night. And then two days later, Saturday, we're teaching an all-day course called Cashing In On A Boom, Quadrant uh, Four Strategies for Buying. This is where we cover all the real estate strategies investors are using to buy in today's real estate market. You won't want to miss it. I Survive Real Estate is September 22nd. We are sold out. You can still donate if you'd like. Find out for more information on isurvivrealestate.com. 100% of what we raise actually goes to, goes to charity, and we've raised over 65,000 this year, bringing our grand total to well over 750 grand since we started this event just 10 years ago. Housing Wire is going to offer a free live feed via its Facebook page, so look for more information on that as we get closer to the event at isurvivorealestate.com. For more information on hard money loans, including fix and flip, buy and hold, and new construction starting at just 6.9%, Really? That's amazing. Check out thenorrisgroup.com. Or for more information on passive investing with trust deeds, check out tngtrustdeeds.com. With that, have a fantastic weekend, and we'll see you next week.